All right, we are in hole number nine of the 2018 Labor Day tournament. And we're going to be using an extra mile and a gear ball trying to bounce from here, getting 400 plus yards. And then we're going to do a rough bump right here to dribble onto the green. That's our, that's our shot. So we need to pick our clubs here. We got our extra mile, we need our big dog. If we're down in that range where we do have to do this to recover, we're gonna want our most accurate run up clubs. And we're gonna want our big distance hitters. And we're gonna be using one of the new gear balls. And we are ready to roll. Hole number 18. We're in second place right now. The person in first has all tiebreakers. So the best that we can do is, if we get an eagle, is to get come in second. If we get an albatross, if we can run it through that, that rough and get it up there and make an albatross, we could end up in a legitimate first. So we're going for our eagle. It's a hard enough hole to get an eagle on. An albatross would be absolute pure luck, but you know, we're gonna, we're gonna play to make sure we keep our ego, but we're gonna go for that albatross. Needs the right distance there. It's a good hit. The big ball is going to help you more on the second shot than it is on this first shot. So he's at 383. Um, he needs to be in the 400 range in order to get into that next fairway up there. So we're going to come up here and we're going to try and get as much flight time out of the ball as possible. So we're going to give it all of it's got and then we're going to come up into this area up against... We're going to give ourselves two rings of maneuver. And this is a four... It's a two one per ring so we're gonna give it a two ring pull and then we're gonna give it all the curl that it's got and just try and pop one up there and get it to roll down that hill a little bit more and close the distance to those shadows and try and get in the we're looking for we really want to get in like the 409 anything over four is good but if we can get in the 409 we're great yes That means that we're going to be somewhere in the middle of this fairway up against the red line. So we've got plenty of plenty of topspin to work through that. But you really, this is where the five ball comes in. Because if you can start your first shot on the, the next fairway area up, then you have a shot of doing, if you brought a right, the right club, you got a shot of doing that rough bump and getting directly onto the green. You're gonna get a little more distance out of the power five on the drive, but you're gonna get a lot. This is where it's gonna help you. So we're in the middle of that area. And we're gonna do a rough bump off this. We need to get where we can see it. We're gonna do five. Where does that put us up there? Okay, we're gonna adjust out that wind. That's a two-two, so we're about a ring and a half, or a ring and two. It's two per ring, so a ring and a fifth. Get a perfect shot, and so it's always a question on this of whether you put too much top spin or not enough top spin. Because you want it to hit and roll out and roll towards the hole. So we put a little too much top spin on there to go for the albatross and go for the wind. But you don't want to roll through there so fast that you roll off the back and get down in that sand because you just turned an absolute guaranteed eagle into a birdie. So there's a fine line there. That is a very tricky shot. It's a tricky shot to do just to get your eagle, let alone doing it to try and get an albatross. But we did go for it. We've been laying up a little... Or we've had really long putts or we've been up there on the fringe because I've been trying to just barely get out of the rough and end up right kind of where he bounced right there. 
I'd rather do a rough bump up there than to try and pitch it up from the bottom. I was going to do that one from the left to the right, but it felt wrong. I let it go by one more time. I had a feeling. <laughs> All right, I think we are with that minus 25, which is a pretty decent score. It's not what we were looking for. I really would have rather had another practice round to go out there and play those holes and then play them one more time. So I kind of miss not having my, my practice account. And he beat me with that. 27 in that opening round. That was a spectacular score. That's the score we were looking for. There's a ton of people that can catch up to us, so we're not, uh, this weekend's far from over. Typically, the way that it works for me is I either end up in first place solid, because I usually open up a, a, a set and then I wait until the next day and qualify, so everybody, for the most part, is finished. I mean, there's still a few people that haven't finished it, but for the most part, everybody's finished. And so I have a better idea when I'm going up to the top, when I get up there, what the deal is. But uh, usually when I'm when I'm up here like this, I'm either in first or I end up in fourth. <laughs> so my anticipation is, is that I will end up in fourth and that two of the people that are down below are going to end up with 26s and 27s. And there's going to be some other 25s in my my middle round of opening 24 um, was not quite. I picked up one here. So the goal would be to pick up one on each side and get a 26. And then pick up one on each side and get a 26. So I played the course good, but I didn't pick up all those extra shots. And I was close, but not close enough. All right, thanks for watching. That was hole number 18 of the 2018 Labor Day Tournament.